Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Gara Tenager and we are playing some of Astray. Now, I just got back from PAX, so we're going to be super sneaks as I try to slowly remember how to play this game. Because for the most part, I can't. What the fuck? Um, game, 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 let me out, 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 blah, 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 okay, fine. Uh, okay, I fell in a pit. This just in, I fell into the pit. Oh, good thing it seems to be a rather straightforward pit. That's my favorite kind of pit. Kind of straightforward. Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I and where are the obligatory monsters? Wait a minute, are those legs? Okay. I had to think about it. It's like, wait a minute. Hello? Hello, monster. Okay. We don't know where the monsters are. They're probably nearby, I would assume. Wait a minute. I've got a... It's my button for that. There it is. Okay. So what does this say? Scribbledy, scribbledy, gobbledy gook. Oh, wow, where did that come from? This creature defies description, is see being seemingly composed of a void itself. While we know nothing of its origin, its methods have been made clear. Corruption, insanity, and illusion are its weapons, and it wields them masterfully. This creature is not something that can be fought. Perhaps, though, there is still hope. The high priest believes that he can forge a prison. A large crystal, the remnants of the creature's original bindings, can be manipulated once again to ensnare the beast and prevent its corruption from spreading further through our world. In our arrogance, we have unleashed this evil. We thought ourselves the best, the most advanced of all sentient beings. But now our mistake may cause the destruction of all the civilizations we had looked down upon. Okay. It's kind of weird that, you know, I can read this or something. I can read this for somehow. Is that a... Nope. Can I go... Nope. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I go this way? Nope. Box! Oh, am I gonna be stacking boxes? I can do that. I'm good at stacking boxes. Sometimes. <laughs> Come here! I'm all put you right about. Uh, but that, that, that. Okay, it they glued to each other. What? Okay, you go there. Okay, and you come with me. Eee. Okay, now I should be able to hut, 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 uh, hut, hut, hut. Um, I feel like I should be able to go over this now. I feel like it, but I also feel like I might be missing something. Oh, there's a pressure pad. Of course I'm missing something. Gas yes, rock! That's a big old rock. Am I throw it over the thing? Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit hoarse at all. I am still um, recovering from Pax South, and my voice being completely thrashed from that. Anything here? No. What about this way? Monsters? What? Well, this looks like a lovely place of death. Um, is that a monster? Yep. That's a moonster. It's a moonster. I gotta get past the moonster. Without dying. Oh. Okay, that fell and I was like, ah, this would be bad. Yeah. Okay. I gotta be super sneaks. Super sneaks. Super sneaks. Super sneaks. Okay, so I gotta go that way. Okay. Super sneaks. You don't see me? I'm gonna call you Joseph. Joseph doesn't see me. We don't want Joseph to see me. I'm gonna hide behind this. Hello, Joseph. Please don't kill me, Joseph. I want you to go past me, Joseph. Please don't see me, Joseph. Please don't see me, Joseph. Please don't see me, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Please don't see me, Joseph. 
Please don't nibble my giblets, Joseph. It's not very nice of you. Don't nibble people's giblets. That's like the last thing they need. Okay, bye-bye, Joseph. Everybody say bye-bye to Joseph. Wave at your screens right now saying bye-bye to Joseph. Because Joseph is our friend. Because he didn't try to kill me. Okay. We're probably going to run into another Joseph and get killed by him. Bye, Joseph. I'm a run. Run, 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 run. Hi, Joseph. Bye, Joseph. Bye, Joseph. You're not that scary, Joseph. Okay. What? Well, shit. Um. Can I just. Oh. Where the fuck am I? What the. I found a corner! Help! Help. 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 Help, I fell in the corner. Help, I fell in the corner. I died! <laughs> I fell over again! Okay, fine. Come on, Joseph. I fell on the wrong part of the pipe, it seems. Hi, Joseph. Well, I just gotta say hi to Joseph again. Hopefully Joe Fist doesn't turn around and cry and kill my face. That'd be bad. Don't like getting my face killed. That's less than pleasant. Less than desirable. Um, less than the thing we want to happen. Joseph? Hi, Joseph. Please don't kill me. Okay, he's gotta get over there, turn around, and come back this way. Once he does that, I should be home clear. I just have to fall in the right part of the bike! I'm gonna let him get ahead a little bit there. I don't want to get too close to Joseph. Because if we get too close to Joseph, he's gonna see me. And then he's gonna nibble my jablets. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Joseph is. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No, 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 no! How did he see me? Lies and slander! Lies and freaking slander! Uh oh, it's a race coming. Okay, he's coming this way. Good. I can just run away from Joseph because apparently we have infinite sprints. This guy's not even scary. We've got the spooky music. But I'm just gonna run from Joseph, okay? Bye, Joseph. You know, it seems like a much better idea than just sneaking behind him. It's just going, fuck this, and running. Okay. Okay, so I need to slide down. And do the correct part of the place. Okay. 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 Fuck. Fuck it. What the fuck? Hi, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph! But... Okay, I'm on the pipe. Cool. Wait, what? Oh, wait, it's another one of these puzzles, isn't it? Yep. No, no, you're supposed to go this way. There we go. Boom. No. I wanna hit the... Yes. Okay. So we gotta make it go over here. So I need to trim this. Turn it this way. Boom, boom, boom. This one at the bottom needs to go here. Well, this isn't helping. Boom, and... Boom. Um... <laughs> this could be going better. Okay, click. Go this way, this way, this way, that way. That way. These puzzles aren't that hard. There we go. Okay, did I do good? Can I go through now? Am I a wiener? Did I win? What the fuck? Can I help you, Joseph? I feel like Joseph is around here somewhere. 
But she's like, oh, oh, I see him. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. And then I kill. And then I just run away from him. Go, like, hi, you're funny, Joseph. Okay. Just. Monster? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh. I see a demon! He's evil. Evil demon. Yeah. Oh! Oh, fuck, help me! Okay... I'm gonna pretend I understood that! Oh, there's steam now. Please don't see me. Please don't see me! I'm gonna call you, um... Wait, Wade. <laughs> yeah, th this is- this is Wade. No, that's me. And, um... Molly? No. <laughs> okay, so now we're stuck in here and we have to survive. I'm assuming. Okay, please don't kill me. Everything is absolutely silent. There is nothing but my footsteps, and this is weird. <laughs> um. This is creepy, okay? I don't like it when things go silent. Oh, there we go. Nice, comforting sound of steam. Okay. You just, uh, keep doing what you do. Stay over there. Whatever your name is. Okay. Whee! He sees nothing. Okay. Demons! I don't know where, our char where my character is going. It's probably descending into a pit to hell. But... Bye! Uh, Thomas, Wade, JP, Molly, whatever I'm gonna call you. I don't know. Ooh. Stuff. Where am I going? This way. That's Celtic! <laughs> or, well, actually... It looks like Norse Elder Futark? I think? One of them. That's a weird thing to find. Okay. Hello? Okay, I was listening to see if I could hear a demon. If I could hear a demon! Okay. The prison seems to be holding, though those in this in close proximity have reported hearing the creature from inside the crystal. It is clear that we are no makers. Our hastily fashioned replica of their work cannot contain the beast's influence, though its physical form is restrained and it cannot cause damage other than the minds of those nearby. We are placing a construct to guard the prison, a sentinel. The sentinel's artificial nature appears to make it immune to the effects of the creature. These stone tablets we are also leaving as an archive of these events, and a warning to any future civilization not to disturb the crystal. The tablets have been warded so as to be unalterable by the creature's influence. The sentinel has been con instructed to observe the prison to prevent any life from approaching it. I can only hope that what we have done here will be enough. So are those the people, things that we've come across? Are those the sentinels? Are they the sentinel? Do I feel like I'm gonna die? <gasps> I'm just gonna keep going. I hear one, but I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. So that just happened. <laughs> There's one in there! We know that there is, but you heard him breathing all heavily. So I'm gonna call those guys the Sentinels until something tells me that that's what they're not. Okay, what's this? Puzzle! Oh no! 
It's one of these again, isn't it? Okay. So we gotta go find ourselves a gear. Wait a minute. Could there be a gear up here? Either way, there's probably a gear hiding out somewhere. And once again, the game's gone completely silent. This way. Demon. Zombie. Is there a zombie? Zombie. I don't see any gears. Should be gear around here somewhere over the rainbow. My voice is trashed. I'm just being all deep as if I was a bass. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Oh, gear! Gimme. Okay. Now we just gotta be super sneaky and hope we don't get seen by the monster. By the moonsta. Okay. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me, please. Okay, good. Whew, I think we're in the clear. Think we have once we turn this corner, we are in the clear. Yay! Success. Okay. Can we please get some background music? It's kind of disconcerting to be talking to myself like this. Wait a minute. Um, um, what? <laughs> Bella's Journal, January 7th, 1909. I'm sure of it now. The crystal shard in our possession is a fragment of the prison mentioned in those stone tablets. I came across another tablet today, one, one in which a being known as the Sentinel recounts the events in which the creature was prevented from escaping its prison. The Sentinel claims to have, a fract have fractured its silver from the crystal and transported it across the world in a last-ditch effort to prevent the creature from overcoming its bonds. We can't allow the shard to be reunited with the rest of the crystal, but Rupert and John believe me to be insane. Neither of them will listen to reason. They themselves are consumed by madness and desire for the shard. It falls to me to take the shard away from here. Tonight I shall steal the shard from Rupert while he sleeps and make my way back to the surface where I can hide it. Well, that ended well for you. Sentinel's last transmission. Shard of the crystal prison is missing. This creature grows stronger. I'm detecting an anomaly. My systems are failing. The crystal must be reformed immediately. Dangerous, imminent, send assistance. Well, I think people got wrecked, so that's not happening. Oh, yeah, shard. Oh, this is... This is a lovely room of death! Um. Well, this is definitely a lovely room of death. <laughs> This looks like a lovely room of Scarlet's gonna get her face eaten! Okay. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do something with these two pipes here. Monster. When in doubt, assume there's a monster. You will usually be correct. Okay, I need to find something to weight this down. Okay. So up there, we've got that. We got a rock. What the? Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Missing textures! <laughs> That's an interesting spot for you, Mr. Missing Textures. Let's go take a look at it. Mwah! Okay. So I need to find something that I can weigh that down with. Be a stone. A lid. A stone lid, perhaps? Something? Maybe? It's me like a rock. Oh. Professor Walker's Diary. Bella approached John and I earlier today with a stone tablet that suggested the crystal fragment I hold in my hands is indeed a part of a larger structure, specifically a prison for an unspeakable evil referred to in the tablets only as the creature. While at one point I may have been inclined to think this is the ramblings of a madman. This place has made me more open-minded to such statements. Bella then suggested that she take the fragment so that she may hide it, returning it to its origin. As returning to its origin would undoubtedly unleash the beast from his bonds. Any attempt to disagree with her idea was met with hostility and false claims that the tablet warned against returning the fragment. She simply re refused to believe me when I told her that the tablet said no such thing, quite the opposite, in fact. Even upon rereading the tablet it herself, she insisted she must take the crystal fragment away. I fear that Bella may not be who she appears. She 
had more access to the crystal fragment than anyone. Perhaps she has learned more of the crystal than we know and is trying to run off to perform a ritual to release the beast. I must be wary. There is no telling what she might try. So one of you is wrong and one of you is dead. Probably you're both dead. Which, let's just be honest. Okay, I st MISSING TEXTURES! <laughs> it was so close, so close, and yet so far. And in the end, it did not even matter. Okay. Anything I can do here? No? No loose stones? No, um, can I take that? No. Well, I need a thing! So I can do the stuff. Look at the missing textures. So many missing textures. Alright. There's gotta be some falling rocks. Perhaps a stone. Can I take like the tablet or something? No. Can I take her arm? No. <laughs> uh, can I take something out of the fire? Wait a minute. And the fuck did that? Oh, did I just have to touch them? Ha! <laughs> Oh, it's all creepy now. Look at all the tombs. This tomb belongs to Constantina. Yes. Constantina and this one belongs to Keiko. Oh. Well, isn't this a lovely room of death? I didn't do it. Um. I think we fucked up. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some of Astray. I'll see you all in the next video. So we've... Whoa. We have released some Cthulian, um, Eldritch Abominations on the world. Because we're an idiot. <laughs> we're just an idiot. I get a feeling like we're close to the end... What the hell is a trireme doing here? At least that looks like a Norse trireme. Okay, hey, what's this? Click. Okay. <laughs> ah! Okay, we don't want to look at me. Good! Okay, final fight. Final fight. Hide, 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 hide! Okay. Okay, so we don't want it to look at me. Okay, I think I can do this. What? Run! Hide. You see nothing! Okay, I'm guessing you have to hit all of these and hopefully that does something. Okay, there's gotta be another one. That way. I'ma get it! Don't hurt me. Good thing there's these things here that I can hide with. I'm just gonna... Woo! No, don't hurt me! Ooh. It's a creepy eyeball! Why do I feel like this is the final fight? What even is going on? It's like we've got the night sky and a big old beam and a tower of battle or something and tentacles and Cthulhu and... Is that the statue from the beginning of the game? <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't do it. Was that the last one? I just hit a thing. I just hit a thing. Okay, we're loading. This is gonna be a really short ending video, isn't it? <laughs> I probably should have just kept going. Hey, right, we're back in the. Did you ever find my uncle? Hey, look. It's a penis. What? Scarlet! Fusrada! Lanterns. I can't see up his loincloth. Oh well! What? Let me out. Door closed on me! How do I feel like I'm gonna- Oh! Um... What? This just-
just got all Cthulhu in on us. Okay. 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 Did I just release it on accident? I did, didn't I? What the fuck? So maybe we should have listened to the girl? That probably would have been a good- Okay, this is gonna be the shortest freaking video freaking ever, isn't it? I'm just gonna put it at the end of the last one. Okay. Ten Thomas person astray. David Thomas. That was good. For what it was, that was good. It was nice. It was short. It was very Cthulhu, and it got very Cthulhu and very quickly towards the end there. We never really figured out what happened to the uncle or anything, but you can assume that they died. And I guess we accidentally just released an Eldritch Abomination onto the world. It's probably Cthulhu's cousin or something. I have a giant Cthulhu plushie over on my bed there. But... Anyway, that is going to be it for Astray. My name is Miss Garrett's manager, and I'll see you all. Oh, I'll see you all in another Let's Play.